Oh, yes, Pavarotti's good, Domingo's good, Carreras ain't bad for a short horse. In a world of singing, a biscuit really has to go to Inglés, he has. There's nothing more pleasurable in life than driving along a regular 65 miles an hour with Inglés, he has coming out of stereo. Better to have him on the stereo, hey, Frank, and on the road next year, way them letting types drive. <laughs> Right there, George. I mean, don't get me wrong, I admire Inglésias' superb singing. But if I was queuing up at the lights on the A316, you know, that filter you over onto the 412, and Inglésias come up the inside of the queue, <laughs> trying to cut in in front of me... You and give him an inch. I would be that far away from the car in front, wind down the electric windows. Oi, Inglésias, no! I admire the superb tropical rhythms of your singing voice, but not your filthy driving manners. The queue for these lights start back there. Put your car in reverse, go back and begin at the Beguine. <laughs> Right, right, Frank. I mean, what would happen to the fabric of our society if we allowed our top international singing stars to forget basic road manners? It'd be anarchy. <laughs> I mean, I admire Humperdinck. Oh, well, the wife and I semi-worship Humperdinck. <laughs> if I'm approaching a roundabout with the intention of turning left, I'm signalling suddenly vroom. Who's this coming up the inside in this silver cloud? It's only Humperdinck. And what a... He shunted me! Jesus, what a pillock! <laughs> I'll be out there like a shot, Frank, I'll tell you. Give him a slap and say, Oi, Umberdink, no! I admire your no-nonsense musicality, but not your nonsense driving. <laughs> and no, I will not please release you until you have provided <laughs> your full insurance details, you hairy-faced, silver-throated tosspot! <laughs> You have right on your side there, George. I mean, I admire Como. Oh, everyone admires Como. <laughs> Indeed. But if I saw him driving along and there's a bus in front of him indicating to pull out and Como ignores it, drives straight past, causing the bus to break, I'll be up there like a shot. Oi, Como, no! This is not one of your magic moments. <laughs> a bus has right of way! <laughs> Fair-minded words, Frank. <laughs> I mean, it's just selfish, isn't it, the way these celebrities think they own the road? I mean, if I'm driving down the M25, it's coned off down to one lane, they've coned off the other two lanes. What is it, roadworks? No, no, there's no roadworks, Frank. No, it's Doonigan. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's only got them to cone off two lanes so he can sit there in his rocking chair singing a thoroughly pleasant, relaxing song. What a cheat! I'll tell you what, there'd be no holding me back, Frank. I'll be over there like a shot, kick his rocking chair from under him, smack his head off the hard shoulder, nut him and say, Oi, Dudica, no! No one regrets the demise of your television show more than me, but your current antics are causing a ten-mile tailback. You are the arsehole of the Emerald Isle, you polo neck under a v-neck sweated, thoroughly pleasant chap. I mean, it's the kind of money these people earn. It breeds irresponsibility. I'm completely lost touch with reality. 